Hi, welcome to Selenium Tutorials. Today we are going to discuss how to verify success or error message in Selenium web driver. Suppose if we have a number of test cases, so which is uh, developed with uh, test ng or j not different different. So when coming to how you know that uh, what the test case is uh, passed or failed. Okay. As per details here, it is when it is showing in green color means it is passed. Means as a blindly we can't uh, run our test cases and uh, without verification points. So same like that in test cases written Excel, you are giving as uh, expected result as well as actual result. So you are verifying the expected result with the actual result. Then only you are saying that the test cases is pass or fail. Same like that in artificial testing also you need to verify particular each and every test cases means here we will call as a method whether it could be a pass or fail so that you can know that uh, how many test cases are for passed and how many test cases are failed so when uh, coming to those verification points okay just you have to use asset so when you click on this asset see if you have seen asset it is showing number of methods it is showing right so asset it will show asset see asset equal to bytes that is equal to as well as booleans okay actual and expecting and when, when here it asset equals you want you have a character expected character actually it will verify okay asset equals int okay these are the different different assets you can use here it is having number of assets see asset not equal not null, not equal, asset false, asset equal, not order, not order. These are the different different assets and verification points you can use. Okay. So what is the use of this asset? So whenever you are using asset, means you are verifying the particular step that the particular step will be executed whenever the that particular step is like satisfying the result see if case you are using if condition why you are using if condition means you want to satisfy that condition then only your script will execute means it will go to next step same like that instead of using if condition we are using asset okay it is having different different methods let's start our programming i have a dictated web driver driver and the string url so before class i am what i am doing i am using open browser method so it will open Firefox driver and it will maximize and it will wait for 30 seconds. If it is not maximized, it is not still loading, then it will wait for 30 seconds. Whenever it is screen still it is loading, then it will give you a timeout error. See, I have prepared one test case with the help of at the rate of test annotations in test engine. See, test engine library, different different I have used. Okay. See driver.get, I am using get method this base url i am using this base url in order to open my url in firefox browser so i am locating the element with the help of name and sending the selenium automation this is a search keyword i am sending to the search box okay so i am using q which is the help of i want to clear why because i want to know that whether it is giving the it is going back to the previous home page okay that's why so what I'm doing, whenever you are clearing, clearing the details in the search keyword, then I'm storing that particular page title in particular string variable. Okay. So what it will do means it will save the that particular title into string variable. So next what I'm doing, standard outdone printer, I'm just printing that uh, particular web page title. So I'm using one expected. This should be my expected. Okay. This I'm giving the positive um, testing. So I want to use for negative. See here why? Because we are checking for negative, right? We need to verify the error message in uh, Selenium. So how it is giving? How it will uh, method will give you error message? And okay, how it is validating the messages? Okay. So I'm using assert. Okay, is here I'm using web page title. This is my uh, actual and which is I'm using expected title. Okay, so let me explain why I'm using asset equal asset dot 
asset equals here we are checking as a boolean why because so we have expected as well as actual then whenever the boolean means it is giving the true or false okay that's why i'm using okay now let me uh, have used as a asset equals that is a boolean right it, if it is passed then it will execute successfully if it is fail then it is give you error message so this is my total our aim so that's why i want to show you let's run our test as a test engine it will open your firefox browser it will maximize and enter the google url then it will enter search keyword it will clear the search keyword okay it will stop the script and it will wait until your element to be present it is giving the which is giving the failure why because the test get title is not matching with expected see expected is sale in a google search but the found is sale in a automation google search so so it is asset got fail this is a fail not equal that's why it got fail so like this you can use assert method which is the help of assert equals boolean method to verify particular test case is pass or fail okay so what is the definition of assert means it will execute your test cases until it will not get fail once it get fail it will stop your test test execution okay so like this you can verify particular web page is open or not particular text is displaying or not so by this you can know that by can you can uh, say that your test case is pass as per your report so here it is it is also shown see if you double click here just giving assertion error expected as a, this one but actually it is showing as a selena automation so this automation showing as in red color means this extra text is missing here so this is that's why it is showing as error message means it is one extra text is inserted between selena in this space automation so like this it will say you that each and every test cases whether it get fail or it got passed everything it will display here okay thank you thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my video for upcoming good uh, real time examples so that you can understand how to use selenium in your application under test in order to verify each and every test cases okay thank you thank you for watching my video please provide your comments as well as suggestions and likes on this my video